Hello there everyone, welcome to Pick Up Play, where uh, I've picked up a, well, I was going to say a new Dreamcast game, it's an old Dreamcast game, but it's a, it's a game called Roadsters, which I'll level with you, I don't think I've ever seen in the wild before, um, and then I saw it actually in person, I was in a, a, a well I was in a CEX, which I'm not particularly happy about, because uh, yeah, I've not had much luck with CEX over the past, uh, past year or so, but a uh, lot of stuff sent either doesn't work or is missing things or whatever. Anyway, um, I was in there and I saw this in the glass cabinet. It was only £10. Roadsters. Missing its booklet, which I didn't realise until I've got it home, which I'm not particularly pleased about. But look at the prices and it's, you know, look, it's, it's not going to be uh, pride of place on my, uh, <laughs> on my uh, gaming shelf. But, yeah. So, I've had a very, very, very brief play of this. Uh, I'm, I'm not good at it, and uh, I have some thoughts about the controls. Also, the demos, you know, you, you, this attract screen, are very short, which is a bit weird. Um, it's made by a company called Titus, which I knew the name of, and I couldn't think why I, I knew. And uh, it's because they made a game called, back when I was really young, Titus the Fox. Um, they also made a Superman game, which I, might be Superman 64, since 1999. Uh, Lamborghini American Challenge, which I remember, I think it was a SNES game. Um, but they made a few Dreamcast games. They made Roadsters. They made, um, where is it gone? Stunt GP. I'll press start so we can uh, get past this title screen. And, uh, where else? Uh, KO the Kangaroo, which I don't own, but is one that I keep almost picking up. I also don't own Stunt GP, I don't think. Or maybe I do. I don't know. Um, probably the most famous game is Incredible Crisis, so, which uh, I didn't realise was them. But, yeah. And they made a Xena game. So, there's not a lot here. I'll say this. the um, You obviously won't get the benefit of this. But the... Um, the rumble is pretty good in this. Like, it, 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 they do a good job with it. I'm just going to hit default on everything. Uh, okay, select... Oh, Division 3, right, okay, we'll just, we'll, we'll do a few races. I did a, a quick drive and, uh, or a quick race, whatever, and didn't do very well at all. In fact, I didn't finish, because I kept getting, I kept just clipping scenery and then just getting stuck. So, um, and then being so far behind, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, we'll see, but, uh, so it vibrates on the 3, 2, 1. Uh, so, oh, there we go, it would have been good if, oh yeah, uh, the drivers have attitude. But like, oh, the, and the other thing, the other thing to notice is, it sort of, you see how it sort of eases, and then all of a sudden it finds grip, and you just turn really sharply. It's a very sort of strange driving model. Um, I'm going to go across. Yeah, I could do without the voices, really. I'm guessing that's what this had going for it, was it was a racing game with, with attitude. Um, I don't really need racing games with attitude, really. But, yeah. Oh, they, they, oh, God, they've been up there. Right, okay. Jesus, shut up. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, if you do hit the scenery and get stuck, or if you just accidentally press it, the A button puts you into reverse, and then you just start hurtling backwards, and then, uh, um, yeah, I think it's the X button, I think, puts it back into, uh, I'm going to say, drive. And, oh shit, that was my fault. Um, yeah, strange, strange. You'd, you'd expect it to just be like, hold the brake down if you're, uh, if you want to go backwards. I'll say this though, it's going to look a bit empty, I guess. I think this looks really good considering, I mean, it's not Metropolis Street Racer, it's a bit cartoony and stuff, but, um, but yeah, this is not a bad looking game at all. We'll go, we'll go up. We've got up. I've hit a tree. But yeah, this seems surprisingly competent, considering. So, I don't know if I said it before, like, it only cost me a tenner. And the kind of it is missing a, a booklet. I think you can get it for about, um, oh shit, uh, <laughs> about maybe sort of 18 quid. It seems fairly uncommon, though. It's not like there's loads of copies of this knocking about. I'm not going to say it's a hidden gem or anything like that, because I'm going to try to never... Do a hidden gem video 
Uh, in the same way, I, don't, I sort of would love to do a top 10 video, but I, they annoy me so much when I watch other people's that, that um, yeah, I kind of don't want to, uh, I, I don't want that to be what this channel is. Um, I was doing so well then, there's too much talking. Also, she, Jesus Christ, she, she needs to stop. Oh, we come third? Fourth. Oh. I didn't see us lose the place there, but oh well. Okay, continue. Let's let's just keep going, I guess. So one of the things I think is pretty good about this, I was going to say it during the race. I mean, I, I hadn't seen those leaves on the track before. Like um, That was a really good touch. And the draw distance, you could just about see some far-off stuff. Um, scenery, I think, more than anything, rather than track popping in. But... You know, you take that in a modern game, to be honest. Maybe not in a racing game, but um, there's plenty of games with worse draw distance than that. Okay. Next race, there we go. It's not quite as uh, just button press through as you'd expect. Have I... Is this just the same track? The same race? I thought we did Pleasantville before... Okay, slightly different, I think. She's awful. I think this is the same track. Oh well, we'll um, let's let's see if we can do a bit better. Well, first place is uh, took off. Can I get all the way around this without falling off the end? Yes. So I was trying to oh shit oh shit uh, trying to not do as many Dreamcast games as I have been doing um, because I've been doing a lot. Of G fuck off. Um, but. Yeah, I, I said I picked this up today and thought, well, I've got, I've got a bit of time. I need to do a video for this week because uh, I hadn't been able to do one over the weekend. I was doing other things. And yeah, this, you know, I, I didn't want to give it a bad showing. And so hopefully, if, if there is anyone who's a diehard fan of Roasters, hopefully I'm doing a, a decent enough job of, you know. I wonder if I could have gone even further right there. It looked like there was a route. I still second. First place is... Jesus. It's okay. X. Let's go. See how it... I, yeah. Change gears, all that sort of stuff. Right. It's a shame. Shame I hit that. Okay. Oh my god. Get up. I think there was a route up there then. I think there was a, a shortcut. I don't know where it'd bring you out though. Oh, there, that's where it brings you out. Okay. So there's there's more to this, isn't there? I wonder if I have to get top three to progress, and that's why Next Race just brought me this. Let's see, because I'm, I'm, you know. Yeah, you hit the scenery this time. Oh, <laughs> I, I think is that is that hubris? Is that what hubris is? Oh dear me! Uh, the police. That's uh, on my my side. Okay. If, I don't want to have to do that track again, but if we do, I'm going to try and aim for that. Um, uh, that that side route. Okay, so I just recorded or redid a, a, a level to see. Yeah, I finished third. I redid that race, managed to get third. So now we're in race two. Something different. I what will be interesting is when I failed this, is uh, if it puts me back to the start or if I get multiple attempts at this, and it's just a case of keep going until you get through it. 
Nighttime race. She's so awful. Also, the hitboxes for these cars are massive. Oh, right, okay. Uh, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's go. To be fair, that was my fault. I thought the road went left. Because apparently I can't read a map. Uh, I tried busting through that fence on the other track as well, and it, uh, it it's, it's, yeah, you can't. It's a short version of uh, that story. This happens. Okay, this is uh, not gone well, has it? Oh well, we'll find out what happens. See, it's, I mean, it's not a great looking game. I don't want to overstate it, but I don't feel like I would have thought this was bad looking at the time, really. Um, the, the, one of the tracks I did did seem to have a bit of slowdown, but I think we could have gone through the, Jesus, the uh, pit lane there. What? Yeah, the, I think if I could give the developers a bit of advice, if they were to patch this game, it would be just reduce, it feels like the front corners of the hitbox are just a bit too big and you're not actually making contact with things or you scrape them or whatever it is, instead you come to a complete stop. Also, lose the lose the voices. Fucking hell. Okay, well we're we'll definitely gonna have to redo this race because we're never gonna catch everyone up. But yeah, I, I Maybe it's just this particular bit. Oh, it's not just this particular bit. It's been a couple of bits I've been quite impressed by. But I think this looks alright. Like, draws this is... is let's go for it. I think that was a mistake. I think we went the wrong way. There we go. We've caught a few people up here. Let's see... Uh, I wonder if we could have come up on that high verge then. So it looks like it peels off coming up here. You go down on the bottom there. I'm sure there's something that joins you. Right, I need to not hit that barrier. Just need to cross the line. I'm in third. Oh shit. <laughs> Come on. I think we've done it. Okay, smashed it. Awesome. I'm the best. Look at like reflections on I mean not real, not ray traced reflections, but there's yellow reflections on that glass. That's, I assume, to reflect the car, I guess, the body. That's quite impressive. I mean, it's a, it's a nice detail. Like, there's, there's, like, with the leaves on the track and things like that. There's, it is a, it's a good fucking game, really, I think. It's got some really nice touches. It is purely the, um, I think the hitboxes and maybe it just needs to be a bit more to the, the driving. Like, it reminds me, the level I did before seemed like it had level uh, deformation because I could hear it. I was never up at the front to, to actually see it. But um, let's go. We're in Area 51. Wow. I don't think that you race around Area 51. 
Although, you know, you can apparently go on the internet and just convince people that you can. And, and yeah, we'll go there. We'll all go there. And next Thursday, yeah, we'll have, a, we'll have a race, Area 51. Yeah, yeah, just come down. You'll get shot. Don't worry. Um, Speed Devils is the game I was going to mention with the the level deformation. It sort of reminds me of that another Dreamcast racing game. That you know, if I was a professional streamer, I'd maybe do um, just a, a whole series. Okay, you know, we'll do a series of Dreamcast racing games. But the top ten Dreamcast racing games were the ten Dreamcast racing games. I think so. I'm going to say yes because it's that Tokyo thingy. I can't remember the name of, but I almost bought it today. I, I don't own it. You've got V-Rally 2, you've got Sega Rally 2, uh, Ferrari F355, Speed Devils, Toy Racer, which is great. Um, this, uh, Spirit of Speed. That, was that 10? That's got to be getting close to 10. And that's just off the top of my head whilst driving. So there's probably others. Trick Style, does that count as a racing game? I think it probably does. Uh, I wish the other routes were open. I don't know if there's something you can do, or if it's just that you get a remix of the tracks and, you know, but it, it feels like it'd be more fun if you could, like, smash through and make um, shortcuts and stuff. I think, I don't want to jinx things, but I think we found my uh, track here, guys. I think I'm. Uh, Area 51, it turns out, I'm uh, amazing at. Oh, oh, I fucked that up. Should probably use my brake. Again, though, like, it's, it's, it's not the greatest looking game. I'm genuinely impressed by this. Like, it's not amazing, but. It's a solid little game, this. If you get rid of the voice, like, it's nice. I'll tell you when it's, it's good. Oh, you, you fucking what? Where'd you come from? Um, When she's not speaking, that's when it's good. Okay, come on. We just need to not hit anything we should be all right smashed it first place and going out on a high they were pretty close behind us i'm not entirely sure how but uh yeah nine thousand dollars if i earned nine thousand dollars for playing that race I'd, I'd be a professional streamer i'd be able to do all those dreamcast racing games that i want to do i actually would quite like to do uh, a football series i was thinking about that just get loads of different football games as in european football the world's game um and um, just play but like you couldn't do everything because there's what's the difference between i don't know fifa 13 fifa 14 95 96 didn't have or 96 might have done but 94 95 didn't have a huge but like what about um save okay we're gonna save because i'm gonna call it here um yeah, you know, European Club Soccer and uh, Adidas Power something. Power? Football? Power Soccer? Power Striker? I don't know. But yeah. Um, okay, so we're moving on to the the next thing. So we just keep going, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what happens if you fail a race, but I've saved so I can pick this up some other time. Anyway, yeah. I think this is surprisingly decent i mean i don't imagine that i'm gonna stick with it and finish the national cup maybe maybe i suspect not but yeah so this is roadsters um i think i think it seems all right like i've <laughs> I've, I've spent more money on worse games in this this past uh, this past few months so yeah uh yeah so this has been pick up play uh the usual stuff there's other videos on the channel there's a decent number of dreamcast games over the last few months maybe i should just pivot to being an entirely dreamcast channel because I, I bought stuff to do saturn stuff i'm not done it can't be i set the saturn up so yeah uh will do though eventually 
Um, and uh, yeah, I've got a, a Wii video that I'm working on at the minute. I just did one with Deadly Creatures, so I'll set up or while the Wii U set up. I thought I'd do another. Anyway, um, yeah, we do a podcast, the Pick Up Play podcast, which if you search MF Gamers on your podcast feed should come up. If not, just search Pick Up Play podcast on Google or MF Gamers podcast on Google. It'll probably take you to it. It's on our, our Twitter, the MF Gamers Twitter's, Twitter will we'll have it. Um, and I'm on Instagram as pick underscore up underscore play. You can find me in other places, Twitter and blah, blah, blah. Um, Twitch as well, though. I've not done a Twitch stream because I haven't had time. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Like the video if you like the video. I'm going to try and edit this down whilst watching from, like, watching something to keep me sort of occupied. I should probably cut this bit out. Anyway, yeah. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. I don't mind. And yeah, thanks for watching.